I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to Grace Celebration. Just take a, a listening to this. Remember all things are possible if you believe. All things are possible. Only believe. Only believe. As you invite someone, as you tag someone, praise the Red Martha, praise God Kagolo, praise God John Kenny, praise God Bavidia. Welcome your friends. Praise God, Mariana. Tag someone, share in group. All things are possible if you believe. Welcome to Grace Celebration. It's a Thanksgiving, giving thanks to what has done for us during the week. It's a Friday, and say good moment. We always need to thank God. things are possible. You can sing with me in the next chorus which say like this. Tell somebody like this. Only believe. Hallelujah. Only believe. It's right. It's just within your heart. Don't feel low. Mm. Welcome to Grace Celebrations. Those who've been with us in our Uganda session, God bless you. And those who are tuned in with the English, we just welcome you as we said on every Friday. It's a Thanksgiving, giving thanks to the Lord for what He's done for us. Pilgrim, welcome. Sister Peace, welcome. Martha, welcome. Elena, welcome. Mariana, welcome. My video welcome, Grace welcome, John Ken welcome. Share with someone, invite someone, invite, invite, invite. Let's keep on going. We are going to pray for the prayer request you've been sending throughout the week, and you can even send in right now. We are praying with you. The Bible says, Where two or three govern my name, I'm their minister. Gertrude, welcome. Thank you for joining in. Share with someone. We are going to pray for the prayer requests. And those who've been sending us testimonies, God bless you. We know God is still in the office of the miracle. And I told you last time that you cannot receive a miracle unless you are prepared for that miracle. Miracles don't just happen. You have to prepare for the miracle. Those who've been sending us prayer requests who need contracts, who need success, need favor, those who are sick, those who are feeling worried, tag a friend. And today, most of the prayer requests we've been getting people who need to be prayed for cancer. And cancer is a serious demon. May I don't even call it a disease. All those are demons. But remember, all things are possible if you believe. And God is still in the office of a miracle. Tag a friend, invite someone, tell someone all things are possible. All things are possible if you believe. And remember, sometimes what follows us, it's our unbelief. The most common sin is not killing, it's not adultery, it's not fornication, it's not stealing, not drinking, but your unbelief. Because if you don't believe in God's word, all those follow. All things follow because you don't believe. And that's why the Bible says in the book of Ma, in the book of John chapter 3 verse 16 it says 
for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, whoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So the most common thing is to believe. You must have faith in your heart. Whatever trouble you have, whatever complication you have, whatever sorrow you have, all things are possible if you believe in your life. Faith can change everything. And we know prayer change even the opinion of God. Because if you read, what is cancer? Do you fear cancer? All things come because of our unbelief. But when we take out our unbelief, because faith does not work with reasoning, cast down your reasoning, and when faith goes into action, reasoning goes to a standstill. Welcome, Sister Rachel. Nice to see you. And invite someone, tag someone, share with someone, share in groups. Remember, every Friday we come to thank God. And one thing, I wanted to remind you about something from about last week, which says like this, because we read in the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, which says, be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, thanksgiving, let all your requests be known unto God. Through thanksgiving, let your requests be known unto God. And God never changes. Our goal never changes. It's not dead to your situation. Sometimes challenges come to prove us worthy about our faith. To prove how far we can go. But remember, God cares for you. But do you care? God loves you. We're bringing good news. Good news of love. Good news of joy. Good news of peace. You who are seeing me right now, it's not by a mistake. God made it sure that you see. God made it sure you see. So that all things can go well. And remember, what you wish for yourself, wish it for someone. I've been telling you, like last Friday we told you, in Luke chapter 12, verse 31, But rather ye seek ye the kingdom of God, and all things shall be added unto you. Whatever you need, God knows everything you need. When you welcome God in your life, when you believe God, all other things are just added unto you. It's just a simple thing. It's to tune in your faith and believe all things are possible if you believe. We've been reminding you all the time that our faith works a lot. It does a great thing in our life. I'm seeing more prayer requests are coming in, more prayer requests are popping in. And remember, all things are possible, I told you. Then, when we read another thing, another scripture in Job, Job chapter 1, verse 20. Job chapter 1, verse 20, which says, Then Job rose and rent his mantle and shaved his head and fell down upon the ground and worshipped. And he said, Naked do I come to earth out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I run thither. The Lord giveth, and the Lord hath said, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Whenever we come in the presence of the Lord, God cares. Sister Mariana, we see your prayer request. God is faithful. Who started a good work is able to accomplish it. He just needs to trust Him and believe. Remember, all things are possible. And I'm reminding you about something in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 4, which says, but God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love, with he loved us. And when he's dead, he quickened us together with Christ. By grace we are saved. Sandra, welcome. Tag someone. Share with someone. Welcome someone. All things are possible. If you need marriage, all things are possible. You need your children, all things are possible. Those who are barren, all things are possible. 
those who need to finish houses all things are possible those who need business all things are possible those who need contracts all things are possible those who need favor all things are possible it's upon your faith to believe those who need good grades all things are possible those who need joy all things are possible i am welcome all things are possible everything you need all things are possible if you believe in yourself if you believe in your heart nothing can stop you your faith can raise you high and your faith can take you low but if you believe all things are possible we just come to encourage one another to raise faith for one another nothing much doctors can do they can treat but god is the healer then you are welcome all things are possible if you believe and today i just wanted to share something because i told you last time i've been just a been a short review that when you believe all things are possible today i just wanted to talk about something called cancer it is a big serious thing disturbing people in their lives and a serious disease but the bible says behind every sickness there is a demon behind every sickness there is a demon you name it whatever name you want but behind every sickness there is a demon but when we come together we join faith the prayers of intercessors the prayers of believers if you believe your prayer can even change the opinion of god we remember hezekiah when he prayed god had it him more years because he believed he put faith into actions and he said god look and tell me what i've done dead people cannot thank god dead people cannot pray for themselves sometimes i pity people who pray for the dead people who pray dead people to help them you can just change your destination you can just change your life you can just change your life if you believe and you do it when you're still alive when you're still breathing dead people don't worship god but praise the lord ye who are living i just wanted i was looking down to see many cancers which kill people mostly lung cancer and brochure cancer colon breast cancer pediatric cancer prostate cancer leukemia liver cancer but all those can't do anything we know some people right now they're in the hospitals very sick some don't know even how to go about that hurry to welcome some even don't know how to go about it but we know god is the healer we want to pray for those who feel that zeal who want their people to be okay remember god has never changed in the offices of miracle all things are possible your sick person can get well god can change anything if you believe and if you trust it's according to your faith that which can heal that person you might be even at home with that person sick you might be even have gone to watch someone on the hospital but remember god cares and god loves you all things are possible jesus christ said i am the way the truth and the life remember life without god is nothing life without god is nothing remember all things change but god never changes i just want to read for you this this before we go to prayer I just want to read it with you because I know our God never changes. It says like this. In Psalms 145 verse 1. I will exalt thee, O Lord, O King, and I bless thy name forever. God cares, God loves you, and God knows whatever situation you are going through those who are feeling you can't do anything in life god is with you and god cares 
And I just want to leave you with this scripture before we pray. Isaiah 53 verse 5, which says, But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. We are already healed. Sickness has no part in your life. Death has no part in your life. Fear not. Cast away the fear. Take away the fear in your life, in your heart, in your mind. God cares for you. God loves you. It's good news. And Luke 12, 34, which says, Where your treasure is, there will your heart also be. Or where your heart will be also. I'm leaving this one word. Find your treasure. And that, that great treasure is in God. That great treasure in Jesus Christ. Read your Bible every day. When we were young, we could always sing a small song which says, read your Bible, pray every day if you want to grow. We grow spiritually and physically. I'm leaving you the bite of the week which says, by his stripes we are healed. And if by his stripes we are healed, physically and spiritually. And today, you might want to thank Jesus Christ and accept him as your personal savior. Just say these words. Lord God, I welcome you in my life. Change me. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Cleanse my heart. Cleanse my soul. Fill me with thy love. Fill me with thy joy. Fill me with peace. I'm taking you. I accept you as my personal savior. From today onwards, let all things change in my life. Let my life not stay the same. I break all the bad covenants. From the family, from the clans, from the ancestors, and I proclaim a blessing and a new life in me. I accept you, Jesus Christ, as my personal Savior. Amen. When you say those words, you have accepted Jesus as your personal Savior. Find a good church. Find a good people, good Christians who worship God in the truth and in the spirit. And your life will never stay the same. Now we are going to pray. Invite someone, tag someone, share with someone. Invite, invite, invite. Now we are going to pray. All those who have been sending us prayer requests, it's the high time now we start praying, praying for you. Who are sick right now, we are going to pray now. It's the high time we pray. This is what brings us together. There is a big team behind us, behind the scene, behind the cameras, which is praying for you, praying for your needs, Praying for your desires. We are praying right now, God, to intervene and to change in your life. Loving Heavenly Father, I come into your presence. I meet that someone who has a problem right now, who is watching right now. Our sister Grace, you are welcome. We are praying for that someone who's been waiting, Lord God, for school fees. We are praying, Lord God. That someone who started an apartment, who started a house, and that is failed. We are praying for that someone who is looking for favor. We are praying for those people who are waiting for success. We are praying for God to help that someone who is waiting for promotion, who needs success. I'm praying for you who need a contract, who need to money increment at your job. I'm praying for you. God cares. God knows. I'm praying for you who is sick. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, let the mighty Lord meet you where you are right now with your bosses, with your friends right now. I'm praying in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let the living God meet you where you are with your children, with your family, with your members. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, meet them. Lord God, forgive all their iniquities as it is in Psalms 1. Zero 3. Forgive everyone, Lord God, 
who needs you in life, who needs your presence, who needs the Holy Spirit. Lord God, I'm praying. Those who are suffering for cancer, those who are suffering for breast cancer, those who are suffering with leukemia, those who are suffering from lung cancer, those who are suffering from goiter, those who are suffering from different kinds of cancer. Loving Heavenly Father, we are praying for them. Those who have problems in their stomachs, Lord God. Those who have problems in their bones Lord, right now. Those who are having problems in their backbones, Lord God. Those who are having headache. Those who are having eye problems. Those who are having toothache, Lord God. Those who are having problem with the ears. Lord God, we are proclaiming. We are calling upon thy power. We are calling upon thy spirit. Because not by mighty, not by power, but by the spirit. You say, you send thy word and it heals the sick. And your word never comes back without doing what is sent for. I'm sending your word to that person, Lord God, who is sick. I'm sending your word to that someone who's waiting for you at home, with the family, with the friends. Meet them in a special way. Lord God, you are the same yesterday done forever. You change is known and your power never changes. Loving Heavenly Father, I thank you. I praise you. I give you glory and honor. Meet everyone, Lord God. Make them strong people. Those who are half function is tomorrow. Those who are starting school next week. Those who are starting striving with different situations in life. Lord God, I'm praying for them. Lord God, I thank you. Meet them in a special way. Meet them in a mighty anointing. Meet them, give them strength. Those who cannot eat. Those who are on drips, Lord God. Those who've got an accident, Lord God. I'm praying for them. Meet them in a special way, Lord God. Loving Heavenly Father. Those who need finances, Lord God, who need financial breakthrough, may them in a special way, Lord God. Because I know your word never changes, and you are the same yesterday you've done forever. Loving Heavenly Father, I love you. I thank you, Lord God. Those who even sometimes don't find, Lord God, where to worship from, loving Heavenly Father, give them more courage and strength to be in you receive you lord god and to think about you we love you loving heaven and father because we know when we pray you hear our prayers we thank you for what you've done in the last week we thank you for what you are still doing and we thank you what we are still continue to do let your holy name be praised we give you grand honor we thank you lord god and let your will be done in people's lives thank you lord just say, thank you, Lord. Just say, meet me here, Lord. Meet me where I am. Just say, forgive me, Lord. Heal me, Lord. Provide for me. Just say, supply for me what I need. I welcome you, Lord. I believe you, Lord. I take my healing. I take my deliverance. I take my miracle. I take my prosperity. I take my contract just to proclaim those words yourself. Say, I thank you, Lord, for the increment. Don't lose faith. Say, Lord God, I thank you. I thank you for your presence. I need a special encounter with me. I need a personal experience with you. Thank you, Lord. Welcome, Lord, in my life. Thank you. Speak those words to yourself. Proclaim right now. You can even try what you can't do. Just know that faith takes everything under control. Faith doesn't reason. We love you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you by mighty power. We thank you for having made us. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Don't lose faith. Continue to proclaim to yourself, I am a victor. I can do all things. I take this week into the name of the Lord. I enter the weekend in power. I enter the weekend in spirit. I take what belongs to me. No weapon raised against you shall prosper. Take away your fear. Say fear, get behind me. Say fear, get away from my face. Say fear, you don't have part in me. Say fear, no, no, you are not part of me. I take everything 
which belongs to me. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Tune in again next Friday, same time. We'll be praying with you. We we'll always take from 19 to 20 hours European Standard Time. And Lord, the good God, protect you, be with you, guide you in everything. God loves you, God cares for you, and your life will never stay the same way again. Say by thy stripes I am healed. I am healed. Victory is mine. Poverty is not part of me. Sickness is not part of me. God bless you. See you once again. Shalom.